Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have two brand new products, well, actually three, but from two different brands to take a look at. We're going to look at the brand new Jones Road The Neutralizer Pencil. It's a color corrector. We have been doing a lot of color corrector reviews on this channel. But, you know, it's a beauty channel, so I guess that's going to happen. We're also going to look at a new little bit of a collection from Estee Lauder. Um, they've added to their Bronze Goddess selections. And so we have the Shimmering Gelée uh, Glimmer Gloss Highlight and the Flora Verde Palette for eyes and cheeks it's right here. We're going to talk all about all of these products. We're going to demo them. We're going to do a little bit of a wear test and see some swatches in two different lights. I'm super glad to have you here. Don't forget that you can also follow me over on TikTok, Instagram, and on threads. Now we have a lot to do, so please do not forget about the timestamps down below. I'm trying to get really detailed in my timestamps um, so that I don't disrespect your time. Because I'm using timestamps now, I'm allowed to be a little bit more personable and a little bit even more chitty chatty. But those of you that are in a hurry or are only interested in one product, make sure that you check for those very detailed uh, timestamps down below so you can get what you need and get moving. Okay, we're gonna start with the Jones Road product. So this is the Neutralizer Pencil. It is $25 and comes in nine different shades. I got, I think it's a third shade over. It's called Light Peachy Pink. There are descriptions on the website. The Jones Road website is very helpful in terms of recommending shade choices for any product that they have. It is a color corrector meant to be used with the icon now iconic product from the brand called the Face Pencil. Now I have a review of the Face Pencil that I can put up for you guys to see. I will list it either down below or in a card or at the end. I'll make sure you can see it. I actually really like it. You gotta, if you like the face pencil, then you'll really like this neutralizer pencil. And we're gonna use it today with the face pencil, but I'll let you know in the demo, you can probably, if you get the right shade of this, it might be a little warm for your skin tone, but you can almost skip concealer. Um, the way that you use this, you'll see in the demo, is you do need to hydrate first because it needs a little bit of slip underneath it. Uh, to work and then you do the pencils and then you could dot it in with your fingers you know follow it with the face pencil you can use a brush too I know you guys hate when I touch my skin but basically what it is is a sharpenable chunky little pencil that has a for me peachy base shade to cover up my dark pits of despair underneath my eyes and my inner corners of my eyes and um I think it does a good job we're going to talk about that we've been doing a lot of I hope you didn't miss my color corrector video from cover fx it was a dark red and it worked now interestingly enough on the Jones Road website there are darker red shades they do recommend for deeper skin tones which is the usual it was odd that the cover fx product wasn't like that so interesting two different very different types of color correctors and I very much like this one Spoiler alert, okay? So you'll see that in a moment. Then I wanna to talk to you about Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Collection. So if you are an Estee Lauder fan, and who isn't, right? They have a kind of a brand within a brand called Bronze Goddess. It's a lot of bronzers, highlighters, shimmery, beautiful, bronzy shades. They have added to that for this season. This is the Shimmering Gelée. It is $38. It is non-scented, which is really nice. Um, and it's kind of just a glimmer glow body highlight. Could you use this on the face? Yes. But when you see me swatch it, you'll see it's definitely for body, just the way it's used and rubs in. Again, you could use it on face, but it's very much for shoulders, decolletage, legs even, um, arms, you know, when the months get warmer. So it's kind of a good resort release at this time of year. I see people a lot of times talking about that. Why are there bathing suits? Or Remember, traditionally, beauty would go with a fashion cycle, and fashion does have resort around now. For those of us who get to go to the Bahamas in the dead of winter, that would not be me, probably, or you. If it's you, why haven't you taken me with you? Okay, and so this would be great for that if you're in the Bahamas right now. And then we have the Flora Verde palette for eyes and cheeks. This is a $60 palette, and it is a beautiful case. Let me, sh let me just zoom you in on that. Really, really pretty. Inside, we have a nice mirror, and we have nine different shades for cheeks 
and eyes in matte, demi-matte, shimmer. There's even a soft cream eyeshadow. Um, and you can use these also on highlight to highlight on the face and apparently on cheeks. It is $60. I ain't got a lot to say about this. I got a lot of opinions. Just type below what you think one of my issues will be with this as an eye and face palette. Take a moment, pause the video if you need to. I'll give you a second. Type below what you think my issues might be already. Let's see if you're right. Go ahead and type them below. What do you think my issues are going to be? Because I saw them coming a mile away, and unfortunately, I was right. Okay, let's, but you know, they're pretty. Really saturated shades. So let's let's do some swatches. Okay, here we are first in Studio Light. There's those nine shades, not as they're laid out in the pan because it's a crazy layout. So there they are in order on my arm. And above it in Studio Light here, you will see that uh, Bronze Goddess Shimmering Gelé. It's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Might have been pretty on the face too. But I wanted to use this supposed face palette as a face palette. Oh, okay, let's take it outside into the warm. California sunshine so you can take a look at it out there again pay special attention to above those Flora Verde palette swatches is the shimmering gelé so you can go ahead and see that it's really pretty and I will wear it on shoulders and such um, during the summer months or on my cruise to the Bahamas which I won't be going on but you know in spirit in spirit you know all right, I want to demo both of these products, and we're going to start with this pretty little the neutralizer pencil because we got to do complexion first. We're going to do both. Pay attention to timestamps if you're in a hurry, but I would love for you to stay with us. Everything will be listed below for your buying pleasure. You can also get information down there for our $4.99 cent a month membership, private membership. We have weekly lives and super thanks. Hey, make sure that you're subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love your help um, because I want to get to 20,000 and then world domination after that. But 20,000 first, right? All right, let's go to the demo. Stay right. We're going to start with looking at this neutralizer pencil and we'll use it along with the face pencil. Now, for full transparency, I did start off with this sheer version of the Estee Lauder Double Wear since we have Estee Lauder in this video. And I just put a little bit just to kind of even out skin tone so we can really concentrate on the places that would need um, both color correcting and concealing, which is what we're going to do here. I will say, if you are a fan of Wet the Foundation, this is lovely. These pencils are lovely with Wet the Foundation because it gives it that little bit of slip. I am a fan of the face pencil. This is what we're gonna use for concealing. I have two shades. Uh, but it can be a little hard to work with if you have dry skin or nothing on the skin to give it a little bit of slip, okay? So we are going to do that. And in fact, Bobbi Brown says that you should use Jones Road, uh, of course, uh, eye cream, and then apply this new color corrector neutralizer pencil first. I don't have Jones Road eye cream, although I'm sure it's a very good product and you can certainly weigh in below if you use it. I do have a, a Tatcha eye cream, you know, that I really like. So let's go ahead and put that on and then we will put this neutralizer pencil. And I do know, I do know from um, working with the face pencil, it does need a little bit of slip. Uh, now here's where you can definitely use the timestamps unless you have heard this before or want to hear it again because it is, I understand, a little bit amusing. Let me show you what I need color correcting and concealing on. Um, remember that I did use just a little bit of this light double wear. It's kind of a light sheer wash version of it just on my cheeks and such but I do have redness around the nose and here and here, which we'll use a little bit of this on, but really a good, good color corrector is used for two things, either a really kind of horrible blemish that we all sometimes get from time to time, which fortunately I really don't have too much of today, but really it is for discoloration around the eyes. Sing it if you know it, I do not get puffy eyes, but I do get sunken in <laughs> dark eyes, and I call it my dark pits of despair. You'll hear the music for it. They have their own theme song. Here it is here. Uh, it's not attractive, uh, and it is uh, on both eyes, obviously. Um, I do have, like I said, that little bit of double wear, but you can see it. I mean, it's not here. It's not here, and so you can see the darkness is just on its own, and it's, you know, it's not pretty, and it's why I need color corrector. 
Now this is a particular Tatcha eye cream, which I will list with all the other ingredients down below. I don't want to put too, too much on, so I'm just kind of starting it here on my finger. And I'm just going to put a little bit, use my ring finger, just to kind of tap the product in underneath the eye. Um, and that will definitely make this go on smoother. I do know that uh, from using the face pencils. You don't have to put a ton on, but you want to have a little bit of slip there. It is what makes the product work. And here we go in our light peachy pink, and we're just going to apply this. I'm going to kind of start it on my hand, just warm it up. And then I'm going to put it in there. And you can either, I'm putting it wherever I put the, I'm putting on my lid too, you guys. I get a little bit of a discolored lid. And I can go ahead and blend that with a with my finger if I do it with my ring finger gently. Um, I know this will drive some of you crazy because you don't like fingers around the gentle skin of the eye. So please know that I'm being very careful with that. I also did bring over, just to relieve some of you guys, um, I did bring over a fusion brush from... Sonia G, so that you can see that. Okay, I'm not sure that we need the concealer over the top, but we'll do the whole shebang. Not bad, huh? Okay, so let me just start with without anything. I mean, I do have eye cream on there because I'm preparing the surface. But here it is, color corrected. What do you guys think? What do you think? Let me take a look. Oh, definitely much better. And that's just the color corrector portion. A lot of the times, again, if I'm not on camera, I do like to do color corrector, then foundation, then concealer. So that's what I would normally do, but you know, just to spare you the time, not bad. Let's just leave this eye end done. Let's go ahead, I have an eight and a 10 here. Let's go ahead and use the eight. And this is the face pencil. In the eight, and I'm just gonna put this up. To be honest with you guys, honest, honestly, I don't think I would need to, I have to, I hate to say this, but I, I'm, I'm nothing if not honest. I think normally I would just wear that pencil we just used as my concealer as well because it blends with my skin tone. And the interesting thing is the darker tones, Bobbi Brown says are for darker skin tones as well. So I just kind of patted that in. That was the eight pencil. I have the 10 as well. But again, this eye is untreated. I do have foundation going to about here and a little bit of eye cream, but it's untreated. And this eye is treated. It feels like I have nothing on my eye at all. But you definitely need that slip. You need that kind of uh, eye cream right there with you to put on in order to give the product a little something to move with. Otherwise it will drag. And again, this is implicit in the instructions as well from Bobby Brown. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I am going to repeat that same process, but I'll speed it up a little bit. And then we'll just take a look at the two eyes before we move on. I'm going to put a little bit more eye cream on. Here we go. Okay, I haven't done my brows. We don't have any other makeup on. Um, and let's just see. This is really a product for under the eyes, but let's just see. Let me take this neutralizer pencil and just see what happens around my nose because I don't have anything on there. And I, I do get red, I really do. I sometimes get red on my cheeks too, but the reason I put on a little bit of product first is you know, I just kind of wanted to, I didn't really want to make this about the whole face. It's really kind of an under eye thing, okay? But I, since I do have some product on it, will work for that slip. And I'm just kind of very gently, I know you guys don't like hands on the face, but very gently just kind of smoothing the product in. And we'll go with a slightly deeper shade of the uh, face pencil. By the way, just as a total side note, you guys, open these before you have stuff on your hands. Did you see me struggling with that? Once you get a little bit of wet on your hands, it's a little harder. Okay, and then I'll put that over. Again, I want, I am nothing if not honest, you guys. I think I would just end up using this neutralizer pencil, lazy as I am and in a hurry as I always am, as my concealer too. I do that a lot with the Tarte also. Nobody can tell. I mean, it's peachy colored, but you know, you're putting makeup on and stuff. Okay, so here is the whole face now done. And I have used dutifully the, the neutralizer pencil with the face pencil, which is how it's meant to be used. Although again, I cannot tell a lie. I would probably just use the neutral. I mean, can I, please, can I just be honest, right? Okay, 
So here is my complexion done. I don't have anything on my lips or cheeks or anything like that. There is just complexion done. And I want to come back in a moment because I really want to try out these Estee Lauder products. Um, but I just kind of wanted to do complexion with you guys first. And then I'll get a little bit more ready brows and mascara and stuff. And we'll continue on with Estee Lauder. It'll be time soon. Okay, now we get to do the fun, colorful portion of the show. But before that, I will say that I have run a few errands and done a few things and just kind of let this complexion just kind of chill. I did put some Jones Road product on my lip and it did my eyebrows and stuff, but um, nothing else to the complexion. Um, no blush, no highlight, nothing. And it has, you know, kind of functioned as a little bit of a four hour quickie wear test. Um, really nice, not sinking into lines. Yes, I wore it with the face pencil. I know that often when I do concealer or foundation, I let it just kind of be on its own so we can see how the product is doing. But you must keep in mind that this particular pencil, this neutralizer pencil is meant to be used with the face pencil. Could you use the neutralizer pencil with a favorite concealer of yours or lazy like me on its own? Sure, but I just wanted to employ it the way it's supposed to be used and keep in mind that the Wet the Face Foundation would make for an even slicker surface to be able to use. Okay, and it has done really well, not creasing under the eyes and I didn't even powder it. This is almost in a way self-powdering because once you spread the pencil on and the moisturizer is kind of soaked in, it's just kind of one with your skin. Super comfy, can't feel a darn thing, looks like my natural skin, but definitely the dark pits of despair are much, much, much decreased, I think. Don't you agree? And that was super easy, easy to do. I'll give you more thoughts on it um, at the end in a summary. All right, let's take a look here. First thing we have, of course, is our Bronze Goddess Shimmering Gelée. I could use this on the face, but really it's kind of for shoulders, decolletage, and, you know, kind of a resort item at this point because it's winter. But for summer, one of the nicest body gelées I have ever seen, um, and you saw it on my arm outside, really pretty. All right, let's put this on. Now, the first thing is, how in the world? These shades are lovely. How am I supposed to get a brush in here to use these on the cheeks? I'm gonna try. In the spirit of camaraderie, I have brought over the smallest brushes I could find and I'm gonna go into the big, the biggest part of the pan in this palette. That looks like it could be a cheek shade, right? Hey, look at that, I'm making it work. Could you make this work for yourself at home? I don't know. Should that be a cheek shade? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, if I get off some of the, yeah, okay. Well, it's a little dark, but okay, let's just do both sides here. Okay, boy, we're gonna have some really dark blush. That is an eyeshadow. It says I am face palette. It's an eye palette, isn't it? This is not a face palette. I'm making it work though, gosh darn it. But um, word to the wise, that is a pigmented shade. But you know what? I think we've made it work. It works with the lips too, right? It works, it works. This is not a cheek palette, she says, as she attempts to use it like a cheek palette. But I think we can definitely, I'm looking, I brought over all my smaller face brushes. This is dangerous because I'm going to try to use this as a highlighter, but look how close it is to the black shade. Well, that's dangerous. Living dangerously, living close to the edge on not fit for print beauty. If you were having a bad day and you looked the other way to yell at one of your kids, as I often do, you could have a black streak on your cheek, which really beauty trends come and go, but I haven't seen that one yet. Okay, so perfectly pretty, perfectly fine. To be incredibly honest, we made it work. Generally, this is an eye palette. I know, I'm looking back at it. It is called a Flora Verde palette for eyes and cheeks. You know what might work? Put your finger in there and tap, tap, tap. It's, it's not a cheek palette. Okay, but so if I'm saying it's an eye palette, let's use it on the eyes, right? Okay, so we have one of our new Little Sonia G releases um, brushes. Let's try this out and I'm gonna put this shade here all over both eyes. I wonder if we should do two eye looks or one. Well, I guess we'll do two eye looks. But I'll kind of prime both eyes with this. Okay, let's, on this eye, I'm gonna use the same brush on this eye. Um, let's go ahead and do uh, that same shade that we used on the cheek. See, now when it's on the eye, that is a much better look. It wasn't a great cheek shade, guys, it just wasn't.
That's really pretty. I like that a lot. And I'm going to go into this kind of olivey shade next to it. And just, this is a super, super pretty eyeshadow palette. I've done a very kind of deep shade. And I'm going to take a clean Sonia G Sky Brush, Lotus Brush, excuse me, and just kind of blend it a little bit. A little bit more so we don't have any harsh lines. I don't like that. If it gets too smoky and there's a harsh line, I like the look of that a lot more. And then I'm going to take another Sonia G brush and go into this light shade here. You know, I'll tell you guys, even for the eyes, these, these pans are awfully close. I do appreciate the fact that there's no wasted space in the palette, but it's, it, it's tight. It's really tight. I think you know what my finishing comments are gonna be. Let's do a little bit of a different look. Let's take this shade here and just kind of put this all over on this side. I think I'll start in the inner corner and all over the lid. Okay. Okay. I'm avoiding this pink. I think that will look ridiculous on my eyes, honestly, guys. And then I'm going to take this here and just kind of put this into the corner and underneath a little bit like that. Interestingly enough, it's a very similar look to the other eye. And there's, you know, there's not a lot of variations on the eye between, say, this shade and this shade to be honest with you. Um, and that's okay. I mean, it makes it a cohesive palette, but it doesn't give a lot of looks for how many shades are in here. You know, for the fact that there's nine shades, very pretty, but very similar eyes, to be honest with you. That's interesting. Okay, now let's go into the same brush, this kind of golden shade up here, put that in the inner corner and work that out. Mm, you know, that's pretty. Oh, this black shade, oh dare I do this. Am I gonna regret this? It's really a liner shade, but I just put a little bit in the corner to deepen it. I'll do that over here too. I like this eye look a little bit better, but they're both very dark and very deep. All right, let's talk about these things. Let's talk about this, okay. Because I got a lot of opinions here. I moved my mirror out of the way. Um, what should we start with? Let's start with the Jones Road Neutralizer Pencil from Genius Bobby Brown. Great product. Frankly, you get the right one for your skin tone, you can use this and, and skip the concealer. Don't tell anyone I told you that, it's just you and me, right? Um, but used in, used, you know, in cooperation with the face pencils, it's a great look. The only thing is you gotta make sure that you have a nice surface for it underneath. I do think I emphasize that enough. The wet the foundation would be perfect or a little eye cream, whatever, just to make it slide. And if you're gonna use it on your face, same thing. You need a little something underneath it. You can warm it up on the back of your hand as I did if you want. It stays, it moves with your face. Um, once it kind of sets, you know, you, you have some time to play with it. And then once it sets, it almost becomes one with the skin and it moves, it doesn't crack. It's really a lovely product. You know, you gotta be interested in that type of a product, but if you are, go for it. It's really nice. I like the face pencil too. I gave, I reviewed that forever ago when it came out and I really like that, I really do, really nice. So um, I think you guys would like that one if it's something that you're interested in that type of a product, okay? I like that a lot. Just, you know, a little bit fussy, but I mean, you know, within reason. Okay, the Estee Lauder Shimmering Gelée, I don't use a lot of, but I guess I thought this was for the face. Um, in terms of shoulders, legs, things like that, in the summertime, I'll definitely use it on legs with a skirt when the weather is a little bit warmer which it always is here in Southern California. Really pretty, can't miss it. Nice sparkle without being too sparkly. If you're interested or looking for something like that, I think it's quite lovely. Let's talk about the Flora Verde palette for eyes and cheeks. First of all, for cheeks, for cheeks. I mean, yeah, there's a pretty pink and we use this kind of rosy shade here. This is not for cheeks. I did okay precisely putting this kind of a cheek brush in there, that's ridiculous. And I guess you could do okay if you wanna just put your finger in there and then just dab it on and maybe then use a brush. I have really small hands, you guys. I am a tiny person with very small hands. And I My finger is almost too big for that. So no, this is not, and again, it could be a typo, I don't know. 
Um, and like I like you saw, we tried to use this highlighter on the face, which was suspiciously, <laughs> dangerously close to the black shade, which could result in a really bad morning if you're trying to get out the door. Um, the eye shades are all very similar. Um, they're all in the same kind of olive tone. Makes for a cohesive palette, but with nine shades, I I'm not saying I need purple all the way through yellow. I'm not saying that, but these are very similar. Uh, even the eye shades are a little bit tough to get a brush into accurately. I appreciate no wasted space, as I said, but even that's a little hard. I think the case and the packaging is absolutely lovely. The colors are super pretty and super pigmented, so I will say that. But do I think this is like a run out and grab this palette? No, I don't. There's too much good stuff out there. How much is this again? $60. I don't know, you know, <laughs> right in down below. You got $60 you want to spend on makeup? I'm going to advise you to spend it somewhere else. I very rarely give bad reviews. I do need to do, I, I did this one video a long time ago called Meh Cup, Meh Cup, and um, I sense this might make the, I don't want to give it away, but I sense this might make the part two, which I do have coming out. It's just, it's, it's okay. But like I said, you got $60 American dollars burning a hole in your pocket that you want to spend on makeup. Come talk to me. I'm going to point you in a better direction. I'm just Look, look, tell me, tell me, look, I love the dialogue um, and I love when we're polite to each other and hear each other's side. If you're going to say to me, Rebecca, that is Estee Lauder, how dare you? Those colors are vibrant. They are beautiful. It is your fault. You go ahead. I just, you know, we have to be respectful of one another, but I love the dialogue. So you can tell me if you feel I'm wrong. That's why we're a community. Go ahead. And you can tell me if you feel I'm wrong on the Jones Road Neutralizer Pencil, which I really like. You know, so let me know. And I don't dislike this, but I don't feel anyone needs this. I just, no. Ugh, I hate that. All right, let me know your thoughts. That's what makes us a community. Please make sure that you share and like, and of course, subscribe. Hey, I look forward to hearing and reading your comments, and I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.